before I even do that. Um, okay, I guess this will work. Uh, let's try this. Website. Oops. I always like to use Firefox when I need to look at keyword density. Let's say website marketing Issaquah. Okay, that's my city. And website marketers in this neck of the woods, Issaquah, Bellevue, Seattle, Tacoma area, these guys are savvy. They know what they're doing. You know, this whole place is all about everything that's going on here. So website marketing Issaquah. 2,570,000 results. That's my city. And here I am, the number one guy. These three are ads. I'm the number one guy. Not only that, look down here. Moji Crew is here as well. Now that's kind of cool. And I wanted to see what else I could do with that. So I got a, you know, just different keyword combinations, bring up different results, internet marketing, Issaquah, so on and so forth. Uh, Issaquah website marketing. I wanted to go after bigger game. So I said, what about website marketing? Seattle, literally, directly, trying to push for something I know is a high competition keyword. There are not necessarily many people that visit this word each time, but the people who do are in this area, usually, and they're looking for a local website company, usually, and these guys can drop healthy cash. You know, this is a well-funded area where people actually pay well, they expect to, you know, $25,000 anyway, uh, to get a, a website up with just a handful of pages on it. Okay, you do not see me on the front page. On page two right now, you see Moji Crew right here, third from the top, and you see me right here. Now, you're just going to have to believe me because I didn't grab the screenshot earlier. Last week, all week, this was number nine on the front page. Number nine, I was right here. That's as high as I got. And I got, I kept creeping up. It was like middle of page two, then third down, then top of page two, then 10, then nine. And so silly me kept waiting for it to go a little higher before I took a screenshot just to show you how far up I got. So the question is, how did I get knocked back down to the bottom of page two? The answer is my competitors are not gonna lie down and die. <laughs> When they see you creep up, you're getting in everyone's way. Guys on the front page, you took someone's spot if you got there. So they lost the front page. And guys on the second page who are almost on the front page are freaking out because they see you there and they don't they don't like it. <laughs> and and they're always competing with each other anyway. So they're going to refresh old backlinks, create new backlinks, get their link on more website projects, offer guys discounts for that. They're going to keep pushing that stuff out and competing with each other. So this is an unfairly hefty uh, competition word because these guys don't play around. Okay, Website marketing in some other city, you know, like uh, I don't care if it's Elkhart, Indiana, that kind of thing. Those guys are not going to be nearly as hard to beat. Now, let me just show you, again, how much optimization do we have going for us compared to some of these guys? Website Marketing Seattle. Look at Moji Crew sitting here. What in the world business does Moji Crew have being here? Well, okay, real quick, I made some changes on my website and Moji Crew to make it more optimized, both of those, for Website Marketing Seattle and Internet Marketing Seattle. Seattle, internet marketing, website marketing, that kind of thing. So I've got to look at Google's cache right now because when it catches up my changes on page, then my quality score goes up for those keywords and I'm just going to shoot straight up. You know what? Take a look at this. If we look at the cached version of this page, what Google knows, which is, oh man, I made the changes the next day, December 5th, I'm pretty sure. So take a look at this. If I look at Oh, I can't do it on uh, Internet Explorer. I got I gotta do it on Firefox because that's where the tools are. So let me just do it. If I look at the cache it has, and I do the show keyword density, and let's just try to get a clue here. Website marketing. Okay, I got it once in the title, twice in the body. I don't have a lot of words in my body, so it's like one and a half percent, not very high. Nothing in the header tags. One link one meta description and then who cares about the meta keywords right but that's it not a lot of optimization my competitors they say website marketing 20 times on the page in every place that kind of thing okay what about Seattle I like the keyword for that as a matter of fact what what about Seattle whoops sometimes it does that don't know why Seattle 
once in the title, once in the body, and that's it. Not the meta description, not the header tags, not the links, not bolded, not nothing. What business do I possibly have being there? And now that I'm in uh, Firefox, I got to do this again. Marketing, Seattle. Because if you look at guys that surround me, even the guys that come next, I mean, you can look at any one of these guys. They're saying Seattle. They're saying web marketing. It's going to be several times on their page. Most of these guys work with local clients. And if I'm going to do, um, oh, whatever, like website marketing for some of these guys, wow, he doesn't, but another guy did. <laughs> uh, Seattle, though, whatever. Oh, let me take a look at one more thing. Here's why the guy's up there. Page rank of five. Got it. I'm sure he's got the word Seattle on this page as well. I was thinking that's a, yeah, he's got it. One, two, three, four, five, and then who cares about the keywords, but like at least five times, okay? Seattle and in the header. So that explains that. Let's take a look, though, at when we look at two, again, because this is even more bizarre. What business would uh, Moji Crew have being up there for website marketing Seattle? Where is it? Right here. Let's look at the cached page. And again, same thing now. Show keyword density. Let's just start. You know, Website Marketing Seattle, I could do. Guarantee you nothing. What about Website Marketing? Once bolded, probably the one that's in the body. Yes, it's in the body and it's bolded. <laughs> and that's it. Okay, for website, that's like it. What about, show keyword, or website marketing, what about Seattle? Once in the title, once in the body, once in the meta description, that's it. That's all Google sees. Now, I made changes to optimize that, so I'm going to start rising a rank again. But, you know, Moji Cruise, a page rank two, okay, at least that's what it says. It could very well be a page rank three by now. Let me show you all this though, because a lot of people are saying, how is it that when you're putting up all these links, you know, they're really counting? Yeah, I showed you the links. Let me just show you what it looks like after I did the backlinking project. I did a couple, one out for Moji, for instance. <laughs> 100. This is the reason why I have so much power to almost be on the front page or be on the front page, at least for a while until the other guys compete back. When you win really good keywords, those guys will compete back and that's why if they're savvy if they are savvy I mean a lot of industries don't have any idea how like Tulsa landscaping wouldn't know how to compete back most likely right probably no one is uh, over there is savvy enough to beat us back down easily you know maybe there's still handwriting articles in the Philippines if they're doing anything at all okay take a look at this 6,914 links coming from one website 2,205 from another 2,190 from another 1,234 from another and 789 from another this is from Moji and the list goes on and on there's just a whole lot of websites involved in this particular backlinking run okay that's wild that's what's going on many of these are Moji down and the backlinks just add up like crazy and I'm going to show you something pretty simple about this in a minute. It's like how many domains matter. You know, the more links you get per domain, that matters a lot. Uh, you could just have one. And it could be um, home or what, virtualhomebusinesses.com. And it could say right here, 17,900 backlinks. And that alone is why virtualhomebusinesses.com shows up for virtual home business. We already know that. Uh, because even back in the day, it didn't even take that much work. Virtual home business. And that guy's right here. And the reason he's there is because of all the links that point at him from smallbusinessidea.com. Okay. Where most of the pages on that site, uh, the video's going to play and everything. Not the main page here or wherever that's going, smallbusinessidea.com, entrepreneurs wanted. Yeah, most of the pages right here have a link saying virtual home business that points at virtualhomebusinesses.com. Now, with several thousand links on this website alone, that's why they're there. They're, they used to be on like page 220, whatever. But they're there now because of that. It's just that now we have a much more comprehensive stack of results to show you. Get as many links as you can on each website you touch and build it up. By the time you have two, 
maybe three with a bunch like that, then you're going to get a lot of ground coverage. Somebody asked once, what if you have one master domain on one server host and then you had two subdomains? And if they're different subdomain, if the subdomains are different content, uh, different projects especially, then Google tends to see them separately. But for people who are doing one and then they're doing subs and it's all pretty much the same thing, it seems like this. If the IP address is all the same, then Google just sort of adds them all up and considers them to be from one website, where basically these other domain names are just pointing at subfolders of the main website. And so Google would just see this, these top three, if they all came off one server, as being like 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, you know, 11,000 something backlinks from Rosa CA natural treatment site.com. <laughs> it's kind of funny, but that's how that works. And so it's okay. Uh, it, it is more useful to have a thousand links on each of four different websites than just to have 4,000 links on one. But 4,000 links on one is way better than a thousand links on one. And it does a whole lot of cool ranking damage to the competitors, it just shoves you straight up. So you can just kind of build up little projects as you get access to different domains. You know, whether you're, um, whether you got some buddies that have domains that they're not doing anything with and you just say, hey, can you give me access to your domain? Just one or two or three. And they'll say, yeah, sure. Uh, do some testing. Say, if you do, I'll just do some testing and I'll just share the results with you. It's very cool. It's really, really cool. And just takes a few domains to pull it off. Domains are what, 10 bucks each? Uh, getting dedicated IP addresses for each of them, like 20 bucks a year. So if you were to get one domain and then you got like two more, that's 20 bucks plus 40, that's like 60 more bucks, covers you for three domains with different IP addresses so that these do look like different sites. And that'll cover you for a whole year. That's 60 bucks. Now what can you do? Like we did, you can do backlinking projects with multiple websites on multiple keywords that are all completely unrelated and you can shove up five projects at once in 45 minutes that get people like page rank three, get people onto the front page of keywords that have visitors that Google calls high competition. Okay, look at uh, WMS backlinks, even goes further. There's like uh, here. So these are the top 187. For anyone that ever had any questions about how many links and stuff, here's one website, 13,676 backlinks. Here's another one, the Rosa CEA. Like I said, I did all these different websites in one run. 7,000 backlinks count, okay? Akaya Power Blast. You'll recognize these names because I did all these backlinking runs at the same time for these different websites, shoving them all up at the same time. 45 minutes, I did five projects. Okay, huge, absolutely huge. Here's something else that's pretty funny. On a lot of those websites, I didn't want the backlinks to be um, distracting. And so on, on the main pages especially, but in some of them I tested with a lot, I used hidden links. That is links you can't see with the naked eye on the page. You just won't see them when you go to the website and look, that kind of thing. And these hidden links are counting. And where do we get the idea for the hidden links? From the Stack Counter project. Do you remember? We talked about that before, right? It's pretty simple. I included the code with the latest version of the Moji Pro. It's the version 1.7. Take a look. We learned it this way. Inside the Stack Counter coding, okay, they make a point of backlinking themselves. They have a link. It's right here. If you recognize the coding, you know that's a link. The link, the only thing in the link that's being used for the link is an image. The image is basically a blank dot gif. It's basically an invisible link. And what's the point? The point is they're pointing at this website and they are using this coding to pull it off right here. Okay. And so this along with the, there's one more place. That's the, the title for the link. It says website statistics. Okay. If you do a search on Google for website statistics, then you see the page show up, that kind of thing. And then, and what they do is when they send the coding insert, they tell you, please, you know, put it on as many pages on your website as you have, because that way you can track what's going on with all your visitors if you do. And what's cool for them is all those backlinks count. That's how they get up on the front page. It's really, really, really competitive, this keyword. You need lots and lots, like hundreds of thousands of backlinks to compete with that particular word. 
Why? Because this is one of those things that all of these coding guys with the, uh, like Stack Hunter, them and their competitors, go after and get on pages to get themselves some rank quietly out of the way. All right. And like, here's Stack Hunter. Okay. There's the link. And it shows up for website statistics. And they have like so many more um, uh, other, other terms that they use in those inserts too. They just swap between them. Well, we used that idea to create that for you guys. Literally, it's inside the project now. It's really a big deal. We did all kinds of tests. Visible links, hidden links, semi-hidden links. We just did all kinds of things. And so we included the coding that we use, our variation on the theme that works best in there. Somebody said, what if, uh, what if Google no longer accepts that kind of thing? The answer is just take the pages. You, you have a copy on your computer anyway. Use the search and replace tool to replace the hidden links with visible ones. Put the page back up. You can still make it small print, have it in the bottom of your page, whatever. Piece of cake. Okay. But for now, those hidden links are counting. They're counting for all these sites that counts for stack counter. There is a reason to have invisible links on a website and it's counting. That's uh, so many of the, uh, the backlinks here are literally based on invisible links. That way it's not distracting. People don't see them. They don't get confused and go elsewhere. Um, and that's cool. Now that led to the next question.